Hey guys, so I'm back and this time I'm back for a tutorial and I know I haven't done a tutorial in forever so it's long overdue and I'm excited to share this look with you. It's a dark purple smoky eye and with bright pink lips. I know, crazy right? But I grabbed this eyeshadow Banafsaji and I probably am saying that wrong but bear with me please. But this is from the MAC Art of the Eye collection and these are just such gorgeous eyeshadows. This one especially I fell in love with and I definitely wanted to do a smoky eye with it. So that's what I'm going to do for you in this tutorial. So stay tuned if you're interested in seeing how I created this look and I'll talk to you soon. So I already filled in my eyebrows and I applied my eyeshadow primer of choice and this is the NARS Pro Prom Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And this is just going to help our eyeshadows stay put all day without creasing. Next I'm going in with a colored eyeshadow base and for this I'm using my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in purple and it's just a deep purpley color. And I'm just going to apply that to my lid very lightly. You don't want to use too much of this product or layer it on thickly because it will crease even though I already have a primer down. It's a very creamy product so be careful just to apply a very thin layer. And I'm just creating a semicircle shape kind of just covering my movable and I'm just grabbing a flat paddle brush and blending out the edges of that this is a Haku Hodo brush it's the J series but I'm not sure of the number because they don't have the numbers on the actual brush handles but any flat paddle brush or any blush brush you want to use to blend that out will do so just blend that edges out slightly into the crease Next I'm going to grab my eyeshadow and this is an eyeshadow from the Art of the Eye collection from MAC. It's called Banaf Saji and it's a Velox Pearl finish which means it has a slight shimmer to it but it's not high frost. And it's a gorgeous deep purple color with a blue shift. And I'm going to apply that with a MAC 239 eyeshadow brush and just press it on my eyelid over that eyeshadow base that we placed before. As you can see, I'm just lightly tapping that color over the eyeshadow base. I'm not sweeping it or disturbing the color too much because I want to just deposit the color with great intensity without blending just yet. Next, I'm just grabbing a blending brush and this again is from Haku Hodo and it's from the J series it's an, and it's one of their blending brushes. And I'm just going to lightly blend out the edges so we don't have any harsh lines. Just lightly going back and forth windshield wiper motions. Then the next color I'm going to grab from MAC is Parfait Amour and it's a lighter shimmery purple color. It's gorgeous and I think this is one of those must have colors from MAC. Same 239 brush and I'm just going to apply that as a highlight to the inner tear duct area so it kind of adds a pop of shimmer and sheen to the inner tear duct area. And also lightly apply that in the crease. Just Doing windshield wiper motions lightly in the crease. I'm not pressing too hard on the brush, just going very lightly in the crease. Then grab that same blending brush and just buff it out so it's not too harsh. Just the edges. Then to add the smoke to this look, I'm going to grab Urban Decay Blackout Eyeshadow and it's just a matte black color, so any black you have. And this is the Real Techniques Brow Brush. This is from their starter set and it's just a fluffy angled brush and what I'm gonna do is apply that color at the lash line and lightly blend it upwards into the purple but ensure that you're concentrating that color at the very lash line and not too much into the purple or onto the lid then to help create the angular shape I'm just gonna use the brush with the black and just create a line somewhat like if I was creating a liner just lightly create a line that goes outwards and then blend the black inwards with that brush slightly to create that sharp outer corner. Then I'm grabbing the same blending brush from Haku Hodo and blending out the edges so it's not harsh. And you're using very light blending or windshield wiper motions to blend that out. So you're not really disturbing the color, you're just lightly fading it out. Now that that's all good, I'm going to grab my highlight color and this is ABC Gum from Urban Decay and it's just a 
beige color or a light beige similar to my skin tone but a touch lighter and I'm gonna grab my MAC 252 flat paddle brush and just highlight right under my brow and bring that color down to help blend out any harsh edges we might have and just to let make the look more cohesive then I'm just gonna line my waterline with my L'Oreal hip cream eyeliner and my Sigma E05 eyeliner brush and just run that along my waterline you can use a pencil for this or whatever you find lasts longest on your waterline. Then I'm just grabbing that Banaf Saji eyeshadow that we used on the lid and my Cosette D230 smudger brush and smudging that on my lower lash line just to give it a nice smoky effect. Slightly apply that color. And the black on the waterline that we applied will kind of blend in with that purple making it a little bit smokier and a little bit darker as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara and my lashes and for mascara I use my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara and for lashes I'm using number 48 from Nigel Beauty Emporium and I just cut the very very end set of lashes to make this a little bit shorter and fit my eyes more precisely. Okay, so I finished up the eyes and I'll give you an up close view of the completed look. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the lips. So for a smoky eye, you can choose to go with nude lips, you can go with bold red lips, or you can go somewhere in between. Whatever you think will complement your look. And for this, I'm going to do a pink lip. And I'm going to use my Sleek Makeup Lip 4 palette. And this one is in Showgirl. And it has like a selection of pinks to choose from. And I'm going to mix and match and figure out a great pink to go with this look. I'm just grabbing a random Ben Nye brush from one of my palettes. And I'm going in with the medium pink shade here. And it's called Vegas. And I'm going to apply that to my lips. Then I'm just going to grab the light pink lip gloss, which is called Danger, just a little bit of it, and go over the center of my lips. And then I'm going to grab the deepish lip gloss here called Lola, and apply it to the outer portions of my lip. Then that's going to give you a really blended kind of ombre pink lip. But it's really just blending the colors to get a unique shade on your lips. So for my cheeks, I'm going to keep with the pink theme and go with this blush here from MAC. It's called Instant Chic. And it's a light pink color. And this is my Cosette S135 brush. I'm just going to pop that just on the apples of my cheeks. Just to give them a light, very light pink flush. Nothing too intense because I the eyes are already intense and so are the lips so I'm not trying to detract from them with bold cheeks as well because then we'll start looking clownish right so there go the cheeks and of course I'm gonna grab my contour color and this is my makeup forever sculpting kit number two and my Sigma angled kabuki brush and just apply a slight contour just to give my face a little bit of dimension so it doesn't fall flat So there you go guys, that's the completed look. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial and picked up some tips, maybe some tricks that you can try out in your own makeup routine. And thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!